hello hi welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to tell you about how you can calculate lst per five years for multiple area so it's gonna be very helpful session so let's watch now let's move to the code this is actually a uh, year i defined like 1991 2001 2010 and 2021 so these are the years i wanna use and here actually the main thing these this one actually provinces of Pakistan. I am using Pakistan and as an example. So I am using just one single shape file, Pakistan provincial boundary. And from that I am getting all these provinces and I will show you the function later that how you can get uh, these all functions applied. Or you can like go to your feature properties and you can identify which one is and then you can call those name string uh, via function i will show you later so these are the provinces of pakistan uh, like indian occupied kashmir azad kashmir balochistan federal capital territory gilgit baltistan khyber pakhtun khwasin punjab now after that what i did uh, uh, after loading uh, pakistan provinces and my defining my area of interest uh, i mean to say uploading my shape file then i defined the image collection landsat 4 landsat 5 landsat 7 8 9 and then i applied functions uh, first of all i clipped my a region of interest then uh, i applied some composite functions and cloud masking like i wanted to remove cloud to get optimized results so uh, i after applying the cloud function here's the main thing that uh, i would like to show after cloud functions after cloud mask i will apply uh, lst mean call actually this function is used this actually initializes an empty earth engine feature collection like lst mean call uh, where we will store the mean land search surface temperature for data for each province okay so now after that moving to the year list here you can see year list uh, uh, i mean to say year list dot map function so what it does actually it irritates um, it trades uh, through each year in year list determines which landsat image uh, collection to use based on the year loops through uh, each province in uh, province in provinces filter the region of interest based on boundary of current, current provinces and generate the temperature LST composite for given year and provinces of Pakistan. So this is uh, all about the code you are watching on screen. You can uh, just take screenshots and or you can capture. And here uh, the main thing I will show you that what how actually I obtained these uh, provinces. And uh, I will also tell you about that. And then I also applied a chart feature like to get charts so here uh, I shown you the code uh, at the end I will also show you how I applied the function to call all the provinces but before I want to show you result so you have seen the code you can take screenshot and apply so here I am showing you like average LSC temperature per five years by provinces and you can see Gilgit Baltistan it was minus uh, before but now you can sense in other there was no any minus value so you can feel that how climate is being changed and here you can see statics of other like Indian occupied Kashmir Gilgit Baltistan and this is Khyber Bakhtun Kwa, Sindh, Punjab almost I'm watching trend every in every year, but Gilgit Baltistan can is showing like a huge impact that how it changes and this distribution just to visualize. So just to make it more appealing, you can see LST distribution sources, like how much it's being distributed all over. And here I'm going to show you layers like uh, different layers and you will get each five year layer layers like here uh, i will show you for example you can go to layer and it's like punjab and you can you can load uh, different layers and you can see that i got 
different layers for each year as i earlier i explained that i'm using year 1991 and then i used i explained that i'm gonna use 2001 and 2010 and 2021 and here i'm loading the different layers so first of all i'm i loaded punjab to show you that it being loaded for punjab and then for example we switch to the next so here i'm just speeding up to save your time and to show you all the results now I speeded up the video to save your time but you can see how it's giving me different layers like i added all the provinces one by one to show you and you can see if you want to see you can slow down the video and here you can get also data in your excel and you can also generate charts in your excel but i also generated in google earth engine itself so it's all about and here's the main layer and now i'm gonna explain how i applied function so here you can see i applied filter function that is calling province actually i loaded provincial boundary and i'm calling province and here i am showing you how you can get your uh, for example if you go to your shape file and it contains like it have like more uh, different cities you can go to your feature if you have the information of these cities or string so you can call that string by function here i am showing you that how i called provinces so by applying that function so i applied uh, i by applying that function i applied lst on my all provinces one by one so via yeah, this way you can calculate this lst for multiple areas so here i loaded uh, that's how i loaded provinces of pakistan on pakistan provincial boundary and here is the full map pakistan showing pakistan uh, lst so you can uh, freely use this code if you want this code uh, you can drop your mail in comment down uh, in comment section i will send you the code or if you want me to help you in any kind of google earth engine uh, code i'll try my best so this is all about here you can see i loaded like old layer and then i will i can load like so it's up to you how you can modify code further and it's all about lst so enjoy your day and subscribe to my channel if you are new here and i hope that you uh, you like my work actually i'm trying to bring something new uh, to people around to help them have a nice day stay blessed take care bye